Hi guys and welcome to another box of shadows unboxing video. I have been dying to open this all day. Uh, this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful package arrived first thing this morning. I haven't opened it yet. It's been killing me and I've just gotten home from the movies, just got, just came back from the flicks with chick session of seeing The Hustle. Uh, so now that I'm home, I finally get to dive into the April's uh, Charmed Box of Shadows special box. Uh, April's theme was Piper Hallowell. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but Piper Hallowell is my favourite character and I think I mentioned this at the end of my last unboxing video, that's actually, um, this is what this ta tattoo represents. This tattoo represents Piper. No, it's not the same tattoo that Holly Marie Combs has. No, this is actually something that represents Piper. Long story, and that's not what you're here for. Just to recap, if this is your first time seeing a Box of Shadows unboxing video, I will just quickly explain, unlike my other videos, that a uh, company, Box of Shadows, uh, they are a subscription service where every three months, every three months they ship out a box that looks exactly like this. It's very cute, it does in fact look like the Book of Shadows. Here has uh, their where you can get them on social media and very cute on here website and the hashtag I am a charmed one, which I definitely utilize. And uh, the, the first box uh, was in October of last year. You can subscribe at any time. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can, if they have any individual boxes left from a previous subscription, you may be able to purchase them. Um, otherwise, if they sell out, you're never going to get a previous box. Uh, first box was uh, 20 years of charm celebrating charms 20 year anniversary that was awesome you can go check out my video you can go check out them all <laughs> i'd love it if you did uh last uh january's box was hearth and heart and home hearth and home oh my god i always go I... anytime that expression is used i never remember where some whether someone uses heart or hearth anyway and like i said this month is piper uh, so the next month is in July, pretty sure it's in July, yeah. The next subscription will be July, um, I won't know what that one, what the theme of that box will be until I open up and see the little, uh, newsletter that's inside here. So, enough of me talking, let's, uh, oh, let's open it up and see what's inside, I'm so excited. Oh, nerve-wracking business, okay. The box is open, we are opening the box. Trying to open the box. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, look! Purple confetti! They usually don't give us any type of um, packaging stuff. Oh, might hold on to that. Recycle it. Give it when I'm giving someone else a present. <laughs> Thank you. Multi-purpose. Okay, first thing at the top, as usual, is our little very cute The Bay Mirror newsletter, which comes in each box, which tells us this theme's month is Piper Hallowell. Um, I'm not going to go through each page of this just yet, because inside the booklet it tells you each item you get and what its value is, so how much essentially each item costs. Um, so I don't want to open it, I'll just flip to the back of the page to find out what uh, July's theme is uh, July's theme is Phoebe Hallowell interesting and you know what else is interesting uh, I've got I'll, I'll go more into it in a bit but at the very back of the page um, where it says what July's theme is it also has four pictures of four different issues of Charmed magazine, which funny enough, I actually have every issue of. Um, they're currently down there with all my other collectibles. And when I get around to recording me showing you guys all my charm merchandise, which is going to take me a long time to record, um, I'll show you that I do have every issue of Charm magazine. So I'll go more into this in a moment, but let's let's see what's first. First in the box of goodies. Um, is a bookmark. Oh, cute. I have so many charm bookmarks. I've got, well, I don't know, so many. I've got four charm bookmarks. I've got 
one that has uh, Piper, Phoebe, Paige, and hmm, Billy. Uh, two are currently being used and two are over there. But this is different. This is wood. Has a tri quattro at the top and says, you are safe, you are loved, you are wise. Oh, that's what Piper says to Wyatt when he's born. That's sweet. I will try and show you. Forgive the glare. But it's so sweet. I'll try and take it out. We're wrapping. It's not a virgin anymore. We're not being gentle with it either. Ugh. Okay, not double sided. Just one singular piece of wood. I don't even know if you can catch that. Sorry if there's glare. But it's really cute. I wonder if I can use that when I go on my plane trip. Can I get this through airport security? Or will they consider it being a possible weapon? You never can tell, but then again, this is Australia. We're a bit more lax with our airport security. Yeah, how oh, cute! Oh! oh, this is cute. I have to open this so that there's... I'm going to open this so that there's no glare. In the first box, if you haven't subscribed to um, this, or you have but you didn't get the first box, or you haven't seen an unboxing video, I'm not the only one who does them. Um, but in the first box, you get a badge, and that one had um, the uh, Hallowell Spirit Board with a moving planchette. This one in Piper's box, it's a badge that says Quake on it, and it, it's the actual Quake logo. This is adorable. I love it. Quake, I, uh, this, is, this is a very controversial opinion, only because it's to do with charm. Um, I actually love Quake more than I love P3. It's just every time I thought of Quake, it takes me back to the first season and it's just, it's, it gives me the nostalgia. So I absolutely love this. I'm going to be a freaking badge lady when I go to this convention. Like, here are all my badges. I have too many charm badges. It's quite, oh, 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 oh. What is this? Ooh. What what is this? Hello. Oh my god, it has so many different types of potion vials on it. And I recognize one of them, at least. So I'll open this up and find out a bit more in a moment. It's the same on each side. But I don't know about all of them, but I can tell you this one right here uh, looks very much like the potion vial that Piper found that belonged to Grams that she made when she was um, going to permanently bind the sister's power so that they would never get them if she passed away. Interesting. So what? Oh! Hello! Two things. What are, they? are these oven mitts? Are these oven mitts? I think they're oven mitts. I could be wrong. But I mean, I'll check when I check the thing. But they look like oven mitts. Ha! <laughs> This is actually really cute. It goes with the tea towel I got in the last box. Okay, I think they're oven mitts. They look and feel like oven mitts. So cute because Piper loves to cook. Um, these are quite adorable. We'll find out if they are in fact oven mitts. Otherwise, I'm an idiot. Oh, there's some. What? what? Oh, hello. Oh, 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 this one's big. Oh, oh, oh. more bloody packaging. One second. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, it's an apron. It's an apron that says, I'm not obsessing, I just want everything to be perfect, that's all. Which is another Piper quote. And it's on a freaking apron. Oh my god, does it fit over my head? It does! Oh, I love this. I'm totally gonna wear... Oh, it has one pocket! Ooh, two pockets. Lovely! I love this. I love that there are kind of cooking themes. I mean, <laughs> cooking themes kind of feel like it would have fit more with the last subscription box, which was Hearth and Home. I'm going to keep saying Hearth and Home. I'm going to keep changing it as I say it. Um, but Piper's passion was cooking, so it's really cute that if I'm getting like oven mitts and an apron, one with potions, one with a Piper quote on it. I, I love this. I don't own an apron. I might actually spend way more time in the kitchen now. I do actually love to cook. If I find a recipe I like, I will go into the kitchen and I will give it a go. The material on this is actually really nice. I almost don't want to use it because it feels so nice and it's so clean. I don't want to get it dirty. 
which is inevitably going to happen. So at the same time, I think it really suits the theme for the paper box, but at the same time it also suits the last subscription box. Uh, who cares, I'm getting charm merch, do I really care when I get it? No I don't! Okay, next up, yay, more Hallowell Mana Miniatures! Oh, oh, we've got, oh, I've got a lot of them. Oh, hang on. Hang on. We've got, oh, we've got three. Let's see, in the first one, I'm not going to pull it up now, but in the first one we had a thing of the attic and a stand with a book of shadows. Uh, in the second one we had Kit the Cat. So in this one we've got uh, a Hello Miniature of the Kitchen. I'll open this in a moment. We have Handyman Leo and we have Piper circa I want to say season one. I'm pretty sure she wore this outfit in season one. So um, I'm just gonna open these and put them together and I'll be right back. Okay, just checking in. I'm struggling to put this together. The freaking slots do not want to go in the holes. <sighs> Take 34. Okay, so eventually I got it in if I go in the opposite direction, but then that means that the smooth fine side is side down and the side, I don't know if you, hang on, the side that has print on it is side up, which is not very appealing, but nevertheless, here is the Hello Miniature of the Kitchen. That looks pretty dope. Who designs these? They're awesome. Doesn't have an artist name. I also find it interesting that they've changed it from um, a clear, uh, the first one had a blue base, the, second, the next one had a clear base, and this one, it's, I think it's kind of, it's, it looks like wood, but it's, it's not wood. I don't know. I don't know what kind of material it is. <gasps> and here's one with Leo. This is just so cute. Like if I was a kid, I'd be going, hello. Do, 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 do. <sighs> Get me drunk enough, that just might happen. Whoops. <gasps> oh, what a bitch. See, that's why this was a dumb idea. So it is a clear base, plastic if you can hear, and then it's like stuck to the other side is a sticker almost that makes it look like a varnished wood and it's stuck. And because of that, when I was trying to peel it off the backing here where they have those little adhesive bits that things stick to, it's now gone and ripped the end off, which means it now looks ripped. Yay! Should have stuck with the blue base. It looked nicer. That pisses me off. I don't like getting brand new things and then them just be ruined. And Piper fits on the reverse side. Okay, see, there's some inconsistencies going on here. I'm very confused about. Leo fits perfectly. Leo fits perfectly on the side with the plastic, with the clear side up and the vinyl varnish side down. Piper, here's Piper, do, 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 do. she's the reverse. She's plastic side rip side up and clear plastic side down. I'm so confused. Nevertheless, here we go. Here's hello, here's the kitchen. Here's Leo and here's Piper. Like I said last time, my nieces are not touching this. They may look at it and go, oh look, toys to play with. No, no, no. We do not play with these. Bibi plays with them, you do not. These are so, so freaking cute. I am running out of room. Oh shit. This one is quite big and I've, I, <laughs> I really do need to rearrange everything because I don't have room to put these in. Uh oh. Lastly, at the bottom, is a very lovely picture of Holly Marie Combs in the attic with the Book of Shadows. Oh, it's beautiful. I always like this picture. I have a copy of it somewhere. Uh, it's such a lovely picture and, and it, I think it's the perfect picture 
to choose. I mean, on one hand, do I think that that's kind of worth putting in a subscription box? No, because I have a I have this picture, obviously not on really nice photo paper, printed it out, stuck it on my wall, um, so paying it for a really nice copy, I don't know if that's worth it. Nevertheless, it is a really good picture of Holly Marie Combs, and it fits the theme. It's a picture of Holly doing a promo photo with the Book of Shadows, and it's the Box of Shadows, so it's fitting, I'll give you that. I just don't know if I'd pay money for a picture. You know? If it had an autograph on it, that's different. Maybe I could ask Holly to autograph it. Okay, let's see. So, back here we've got the Piper Apron. Okay, apron valued at $13. Not bad. The Week pin valued at $12. 25. Um, potions pot holders. Potions. So essentially, they are oven mitts. They're potions pot holders. That is a cute. These are $20. Wow. That's more expensive than the apron. I guess that makes sense. Um, the. The 8x10 portrait of Piper is valued at $8. The mahogany bookmark. Ooh, mahogany. Fancy. Ooh, and they've matched it in the picture. They've matched it with the uh, charmed journal that you get in the first box. Cute. Clever thinking, although it already has a bookmark attached to it. So, never mind. Um, that's valued at $10. The Hallowell Manor miniatures. The one for the kitchen. That's valued at, mm -hmm, there we go, the one for the kitchen is valued at $18, and both Piper and Leo are $12 each. So I, th so assuming my maths is correct, and it could be wrong, but I think this, in total, everything came to a total cost of $96. Guaranteed, I'm pretty sure that's all US dollars. So in my currency, <laughs> it's a lot more money. But, um, I don't know. I Overall, I really liked everything that I got in this box. I love the Quake pin. Oddly enough, that might be my favourite just because I just get so nostalgic when I see or think about Quake. I think the potion pot holders, I think they are adorable. And the fact that now I've got matching, you know, apron. Um, so good. Would totally use them, even though I don't want to get them dirty. Um, mahogany bookmark. I like that it has a quote of Piper's on it. The engravings are really nicely done, so it's cute. Ah, oh, the miniatures. I love that every box comes with a miniature, so it's like you're, you're growing the house. I, I think that's great. I wish if they had all four walls. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, yeah, the only thing that I'm iffy about is the portrait. I mean, I still love it because it's charm, so therefore I love everything about charm. I just don't feel like it's something I would pay for unless, you know, it was coming with an autograph, which I already have autographs by Holly Marie Combs. So, I don't know. Maybe when I see her again, I'll ask her to autograph this one. Actually, that might be a good idea. Uh, no, I don't know. I've been debating because I already have, um, I've already got a couple autographs by Holly that I got personally and Brian. I've got three autographs by Brian and I've got two autographs from Holly. And the fact that I'm going to be seeing them again in July, I've been looking around at all my merchandise going, what do I want to take with me to have them sign? And I'm just, <laughs> I can't decide because every time I'm like, oh, this, I'm like, no, I don't want anything touching that, so... Maybe I'll take this for Holly, but then what do I have for Brian? <sighs> Too many decisions. So also at the back of the newsletter is um, a Piper pop quiz. Do you want me to ask you? Do you want me? I feel like that's so in keeping with my channel, considering I have a game show. Now we'll just have a charmed game show. You know what? I'm going to ask you guys anyway, because it'll be fun for you, and then I'll tell you the answers at the end. Uh, you know... Write down in the comments if you got the questions right or wrong. Tell me how many you got there. Ten questions. Okay. Question one. 
Piper is a trained chef. For what other occupation did she receive formal training? Mm. I know this one, do you? Okay, we'll move on. Question two. Who was Piper's ghostly love interest who shared her passion for cooking? Do you know this one? Because I also know this one. This is in season one. Okay. <laughs> Question three. I'm going to know all the answers. Any good charm fan should. Question three. The Hello All sisters have a high mortality rate in their battle against evil. This is true. How many times did Piper die during the C series? I kept a tally of that at one point. I was doing a marathon and I decided to count every time she died. She dies a shitload of times. Well, they all do, technically. I think Piper's just died the most. Anyway, question four. Piper was transformed into a goddess three times. Name them. Um, question five. What job did Piper take right after graduating from college? Do you guys know? Don't worry, I'm going to reveal your answers at the end. We'll see if you guys were right. Uh, question six. What illness hit Piper in the season two episode Awakening? Any idea? I watched a cooking show the other day and they actually had the fruit that she used and um, I yelled out the name my mom was just like how do you know the name of this fruit and I'm like it's in an episode charmed nearly killed Piper technically it wasn't the fruit it was a fly that was traveling in the flute flute fruit <laughs> question seven what restaurant employed Piper as a chef and then manager hint it's in the box <laughs> question eight Piper had two identities in season eight Name them. Ooh, that's a good one. Question nine. Who was Piper's next door neighbor boyfriend? What time did he want, what team did he once play for? My apologies. Fun fact. My sister's partner, he, uh, he is Australian, but he actually used to play baseball for the exact same team, but he was in like a second division, not the first division, not like Dan was. Uh, question 10. P3 was opened in which season? Okay. Do you think you got all... Do you think you got all 10 questions right? Did you? Okay, let's go through them and see what you got. Question 1. Piper is a trained chef. For what other occupation did she receive formal training? Answer is accountant. Did you know that? Should have. Because it was mentioned in a flashback in season 3. Question two, who was Piper's ghostly love interest who shared her passion for cooking? This was in season one. The answer is Mark Chow. Is it Cho or Chow? I think it's Mark Chow. Leave it to Piper to fall for a dead guy. Uh, so how, question three, how many times did Piper die during the series? According to this, nine. I don't remember what I had on my piece of paper, but I'd have to marathon it again to confirm if this is correct, but let's just say they said nine, so if you don't have nine, you're wrong. Uh, Piper was transformed to goddess three times, name them. The first one, season five, she was the Greek goddess of Earth, so in other words, she was Gaia. In season six, she was a Valkyrie, and in season seven, she was the Hindu goddess Shakti, and Leo was Shiva, so there's your three. Question five, what job did Piper take right after graduating college? She was a bank teller, comes with health plan. Flashback again. So, uh, question six, what illness hit Piper in the season two episode Awakening? It was Aurora Fever. I always remember this because it sounds like Aurora and Aurora is like one of my favorite Disney princesses. Not because she did anything, just because I like her dress and her name. What restaurant employed Piper as the chef and the manager? Quake. We've just been talking about it because of the pin. Uh, Piper had two identities in season eight. Name them. You should have Jamie Bennett and Jenny Bennett. If you don't have at least one of those, shame on you. Who was Piper's next door neighbor slash boyfriend and what team did he once play for? That would be Dan Gordon and he used to play for the Seattle Mariners. And P3 was opened in which season? It was opened in season two. So... Those are your questions, those are your answers. Comment down below and tell me what you scored out of 10. If you are a Charmed fan and you scored anything less than 10, shame on you. Um, Pithy Piper. So we just got a bunch of Piper quotes, which is really cool. And that's it. That is April's subscription box. Overall, again, I am really happy 
with this service. I am I just love getting these. It's just con and I'm so happy I managed to dodge the spoilers this time. Someone um the twi the, the box of shadows Twitter page did actually retweet someone taking a whole picture of him, but as soon as I saw a glimpse of Piper, I went no 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 because I was like no spoilers how dare you. So so far so good. Um I'm happy with it. Uh, yeah, comment down below, talk about charm, talk about the box, tell me if there's anything in here you would love to have or think something in there you not too happy about. Um, as always, I will post a link to the Box of Shadows website in the description box in case you want to check it out and maybe subscribe to their service. P.S. This is not sponsored. This is just me trying to help out other Charmed fans get more Charmed goodies in their life. Um, I also will post links to all of their social media so you can follow them on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. But if you also saw at the beginning of the video, I did show you the clip on the box. But Anyway, like I said, the next one is in July, so it'll be interesting that in the start of July I am off to the Charmed Again convention in London, and then when I get home, later in the month, I get the Phoebe Hallowell um, Box of Shadows Charm Box, so July is going to be a very busy charm month for me. I'm looking forward to it. To it. Um, if you are not someone who's regularly subscribed to my videos and you don't watch my stuff and... Um, then I guess I will see you hopefully in the next unboxing video um, or maybe if I manage to get up my video where I show you all my charm merchandise because people have been asking me constantly to make that video and I'm working on it so I will be doing that so anyway anyway that's it and until next time bye